Hi, this is Mike from BandLab. Did you know that BandLab Mobile has a mode that lets you create your own backing tracks in real time? In this video, we'll show you how to use Looper in BandLab Mobile to make a backing track on your phone, then edit the results in BandLab Studio on the web. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. Making music from scratch can be a time-consuming process, but if you just want to make an original backing track for your vocals, BandLab Mobile has you covered with its easy-to-use looper mode. Let's try it out. To begin, tap the plus icon in the mobile app to bring up the create screen. Then in the track type section, swipe over to looper mode, then tap it to begin. In the looper pack screen, you can browse various available looper packs. You can hear a pack's demo by tapping the play icon. If you're looking for a specific style of music, you can tap the spyglass icon and use text to search. Let's search for a trap pack. Count Trapula sounds like fun, so let's tap the plus icon to open it up. Once the pack is loaded, the screen will be filled with pads. Each row represents a different type of sound, and you can only play one sound from each row at once. To start or stop a sample, simply tap it. The samples will automatically stay in sync, and they'll start and stop at the start of each bar rather than immediately. This makes it easy to create an arrangement in real time. So let's dive right in and make a beat. Start by tapping the record button. When you're done, stop all the clips playing. You can use the looper stop icon to do this, and tap the stop record button. Let's turn off the metronome by tapping it, then listen to the track using the rewind and play button. Okay, that's sounding good. If you like, you can invite collaborators straight from the app. To do this, tap the cloud icon and select Save. Enter a name for your project. Then, tap the Exit button to exit, and you can find your new project in the library. Tap the Menu button next to it, then tap Invite Collaborators to send the project to a collaborator. If you'd like to edit the project before sharing it, this can be done in BandLab Mobile or on the web. To load your project up on the web, simply visit your library and open the project up. Here you'll find the project as a single audio track that you can edit as you wish. You can slice the audio by selecting it, moving the playhead to where you want to make the slice, then press S or right click and select Slice. You can use slicing to edit parts of the beat out that you don't like, 
or create extended sections using copy and paste or BandLab's duplicate function. To duplicate audio clips, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them into the desired position. Remember, you can fork this project to make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!